Okay, the black represents the darkness, and then the light represents when God said, let there be light, as you can see right there. So basically, we got some crosses and a sunset. Okay. Alright, so this painting shows God's love towards his people. John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Um, the cross right here represents how he came down to save the sinners and how he loved us all. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. You saw 103, 15 through 17. It says, the life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower in the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those of him. Um, it's kind of like we're only here for a short time, and We'll die eventually, so we gotta make the most of what we're here. Hey, okay, I did Genesis 1:20, which says, "And God said, Let the water team with living creatures." Matthew 6:26 says, "Look at the birds of the air; they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they?" God provides for all our needs, and we don't need to work. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim, proclaim the work of His hands. Genesis 1, 3 or something, is God separated day from night. Psalm 95, 2 says, Let us come before Him with thanksgiving, and extol Him with music and song. To err is human, but to forget is divine. The reason why I chose that because Jesus forgave us and yet he still took up on the cross and every day that cross is still there. Okay, this is my painting. It's based on the movie cover from One Night with the King and it's about um, Esther and her story and how she like had the faith to go into um, the king's presence before like he invited her, which was a death sentence, but she did it to save her people and that's